just when you thought the Mach-E was the most controversial Mustang of all time, we have another one out here that just got released that are making some folks very mad. What's happening, everybody? It is your boy Ken of Sean with the world famous do, 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 do. Blue Oval Media. And when I say this car is fresh off the press, I mean this stuff is barely 24 hours old. Yes, we are talking about the Mustang GTD. And when I tell you all this car has everybody up in a frenzy, it's I haven't even been able to gather all the information about it. I've only gone to a couple of sites and seen a couple of things. And I don't know about you all, but when certain stuff come out, you know, the first thing I do, I like to go straight to the comments. I want to know what is everybody saying before I actually get the facts. And I know sometimes <laughs> people's comments can be more entertaining than the actual facts, but let me share you with you all some of the things that I don't heard so far about this car. Man, this car looks dumb. Man, you all should have built another Camaro. Man, the wing on that thing looks terrible. Look, I get it. There are a lot of things that everybody just has an opinion. But at the end of the day, it ain't stopping Ford from making it. So it just is what it is. Let me show you all this clip that I saw from Ford Performance Racing School. Let me show you this. All right, so you kind of got a full overall view of what the car kind of looks like, giving you that whole feel. I'm going to throw some pictures in here for you all to see as well so that you can get an idea of what it is. But you all, this car is coming out in 2025. So it's not even out just yet. It's a 2025 release. So it ain't out just yet. And it is going to be $300,000. Let me say that again for you all in the back who didn't hear me. I said it's going to be $300,000. So what does that mean? It pretty much means it probably ain't for you. So before you get mad and all of that, this car is probably not for you. But let me go into some detail about who this car is for and who they are trying to go up against and some of the specs on it. Now, I pulled this from CarDriver.com. You can go to CarDriver.com. It's brand new news. It's, it just says 2025 Ford Mustang GTD is a $300,000 thoroughbred <laughs> at approximately 800 horsepower. So it's got a 5.2 V8 uh, motor with uh, looking like I'm assuming... I can't uh, say it just yet, but I'm, it may be supercharged, but 800 horsepower. Don't quote me on that one. I may have messed that one up. Um, but bottom line, what they are doing is building a car that is going up against some of the supercars. It's going up. Um, the CEO of Ford says AMG Black, Aston Martin, Porsche GT3 RS. We want to beat it at Le Mans, but we also want to beat it as a street car. This car is going up against the other guys who cost a whole lot of money. Now, I know when we think about Ford, we think that everything should be affordable. <laughs> affordable. 
But this is not why this car is built. This is not what the, the vision that the CEO had in mind. He had a totally different vision in mind. They're building this car to not only compete, but to also be for the street and to be street legal. And so obviously there's a lot of thought that goes into that. It's a lot of money that goes into that. And so this is probably why it's costing just a little bit more. They are building the ultimate machine, but it probably ain't going to be for... I don't even know if this thing exists anymore. The middle class, or I don't even think that exists no more. But a three hundred thousand dollar vehicle pretty much puts you in a different tax bracket. You just can't go to the dealership and try to get approved for three hundred thousand, and you make fifty. Some more details on it. It says fitting a transaxle that connects to the front mounted engine via a carbon fiber prop shaft shifts the balance of the weight forward. Ford claims the GTD has nearly a fifty fifty front rear balance which compares quite favorably to the mustang shelby gt 500s 56.6 slash 43.4 percent distribution and so man you know this multimatic gtd and all of this i mean it's, this is uh this is gonna be interesting and i'll be honest with you all as as a as a ford enthusiast and as somebody that really likes uh, Fords. This is just going to be one of those cars that I just watch from a distance. This is just going to be one of those cars that I'm just going to watch other people make videos on. This is just going to be one of those cars that maybe if it's at an auto show, I get to stand by it and take a picture. But this is not a car that I think that I'm going to buy. This is not the next GT500. This is not the next anything of that matter. This is a straight competition car that they're only building in limited numbers, limited budget this yeah this is this is just something just a little bit different and so um like i said this just came out i literally just made this video and i'm about to just post it but this just came out there's a whole bunch more information um for you all that's interested on it but before we start going bashing everything about it there are reasons why it's made the way that it's made i know some of you all are tripping about the whole wing on the car and calling it celine wings and things of that nature but look it's a reason why it's made the way that it's made. And so we got to, I think some of us, man, as it relates to Mustangs, particularly, I think some of us are so caught up and stuck in the 60s and the 90s that we do not want to see this thing go any further. Now, I get it, you know, financially and everything, this stuff costs a lot of money now. It's just what it is. But I like to see the progression of what is being done, and I like what they're doing with this car, to be honest. It's not a car that I can buy, but it's definitely something that I like to see and want to see moving forward. But has it literally stirred up the pot with everybody? Yeah, it's a lot of people that love it, and it's a lot of people that hate it. But man, we all got the right to our opinion, but why are you so mad? You ain't going to buy it anyway. You don't even have a Mustang. Stop being so mad, y'all. Let's just see what happens and let's just see how this thing goes forward. If you want to find out more information, go to cardriver.com. They have a full article on it. And then Google it. Like it's on the Ford website as well as we speak right now. You can go to Ford's website and it's the first thing you're going to see. The 2025 Ford Mustang GTD. You all go to car and driver, go to Ford.com, uh, go to Ford Performance Racing School on IG. This is where I got all of my information and you can find a lot of information on it. But as time will come, we will find out even more. And so just make sure you all go check it out. It's your boy, Kenneth Sean, Blue Oval Media. Y'all stop being mad. It's just a car. I'm out.